Testing, testing, one, two, three. It's always nice if I can tell what's going on on the other end here. But I think we're good. Somebody out there might have to tell me if my audio is working. So not much going on this evening. Just wanted to tinker with some blue scuzzy here. And then maybe do some SMD soldering with my sneaky little big mess of wires uh, rominator programmer. Because I do have the chip here that's necessary, but I'm still missing some other components, but I'll get around to those eventually as well. But 72 pin socket and then the one main processing chip. So let's switch our camera over. And let's get our scope on the go. Here we select the right hacko. <laughs> Nothing better than a nice, relaxing Canadian Thanksgiving to sit down and build some blue scuzzy. Because why not? All right, we got our DB25. We've Got a shot key diode, two three thirty ohm resistors, two two twenty ohm resistor nets. We need an SD slot. Yeah, I do have some three D printed cases, but those are downstairs with the three D printer. And we're gonna need some flux. Some people don't enjoy soldering the uh, the SD slot, but I do. I think it's fun. Take off my glasses so I can see with the microscope here. So, so what is that? Thanks, JLC PCB. Leaving behind some solder. Oh, that popping off. Shorting something out. Maybe it's on a via, actually, now that I look closer. Heat up. Iron was asleep. Oh yeah, we just had a via there. Should have known. Should have known. Bird's eye view. All right, now the perfect amount of flux. Just like that. Get our solder reel. And add a little bit of solder to the end. If this wakes up. There you go. I changed one of the settings on my Hakko. 203 here so whenever I put it down to sleep it's not waking up on me 
Now this is a very fine point J tip, which I prefer to do things like this, because I can just go touch, touch, touch. See what I mean? Okay, why is this going to sleep again? I think my switch is getting buggered there in the back. I'll disconnect the sleep function out of that. Jeez Louise. No more sleeping. Don't go to sleep. Stay awake. There you go. It reflects around the back. But not too much flux. It's always nice that Aaron's having a bit of a panic attack. Mm -hmm. Next up, Mr. Diode goes in. Follow the silk screens so you don't make a mistake. Trim those ends. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh man. Yeah, it's so much, so much turkey this Thanksgiving. It's ridiculous. Delicious, delicious turkey. Get a big old solder blob in there. Act as our ground and our anchor point. And then we'll gracefully move along and solder all of these little 
tiny points. Looking good. All right. Let's get our resistor nuts in here next. This one's a 220, that'll go in the front. That one's a 331. Oh, one of the legs is bent. It's a little difficult to get in when that happens. Just needs a little coaxing, that's all. Three thirty. I just like to dab a little bit of flux on a couple points for these. Pick up some solder. And then tack them in. Just tack them in. Always make sure we're following the silk screen markings so we don't install something backwards. Just like that. They're happy there. That's where they want to live. Just tack it in. Now we can go ahead and solder the rest of those up. Excellent. <clears throat> All right, time for a blue pill. When we go into the blue pill drawer, everyone has one. If you can't find it, just ask your mom and dad. Oh, but I got a little solder in that hole there. That's better. Let's 
Same, same. Got things half assembled there. I'm just going to tack it in at the top. One. And a two. Flip her around, same deal. Usually hold it just to give it some positive pressure from the other side so things don't go flippy floppy. All right. Time to do the top side. Ground always takes a little bit of extra heat. On to the other row. Nice. All right, now to do the underside. Move. Hey there, move. Next row. Very pretty. And just like that, we've got ourselves a DB25 Blue Scuzzy. Sorry, I saw a little solder ball riding on the resistor up there. I had to clean that up. And we get some isopropyl alcohol. Give them a rush. Then I move on to my next favorite tool. Mm -hmm. 
Beautiful. Switch off our iron. Uh, let's maybe give this guy a quick test. Do -do 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 -do. Pull out my LC-475. Which camera should we be using here? Get rid of our scope. Razor. Hey, it's me! What fun! All right. What can Mr. Razor see? You should probably focus on. Get you to focus on that little screen up there. Yes. And then let's move you. Bear with me here, folks. Tightening on the fly. Will it stay? I really hope so. And we focus. Good job. I knew you could do it. Do, 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 do. Let me crop that guy. Nah. As my camera slowly slips away. Good enough. All right. DB25 time. Pull out that little fella, because I do have an extender running from the internal there. If he'll reach. No, I'm just going to take that card out. Do do. We need power. And we need video. What else we need? Maybe a mouse. Maybe a keyboard. 
all the creature comforts. All right, here we go. No PRM battery, so I'm gonna get a, a couple quick power ons just to bypass that PRM requirement. What is the floppy drive on there? Don't boot off the internal. How about that? Go oh away. That's my Bellis drum beating away there. It's still connected to the internal power, so it's going to cycle through its power on drum beat. It's not actually connected to the hard drive right now, though. Not the external one, anyway. There's our desktop coming up. Yippee! Morning, you don't have a battery. I know. I know. Well, truly, the good news here is that it all works. <clears throat> Resolution is pretty high with that one megabyte of VRAM in there, too. A creepy Uncle Ron photo. What's that? Ah, okay. There's our... Memory. I don't think it's 32-bit enabled. There we go. Of course, that would require a quick restart. Anyway. Well, that's it for DB25 Blue SCSI. And YouTube's reporting an error with keyframe frequencies, so I think that might actually be it for now. So thanks uh, for checking it out. Love you. Bye.